As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? To beat my toughest opponents? To keep my composure when it matters most? To chase my dreams at any price? To seek glory for my team? Because someday, that dream could become a reality. And the road won't always be easy. But if you just keep getting back on your broom, and trust in your teammates, Quidditch is magic. So ask yourself again, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of a Quidditch champion? Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch, and wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustment. lot of threats on the Quidditch field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. I think you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I use it all the time when lining up a shot on the goals. Not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How 
are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? It's really not all that complicated once you know all the positions. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and a chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, throwing the Quaffle through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Quidditch is fast-paced, and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly great chasers know they need to pass to their teammates. As a chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer you get to winning. Get those points by throwing the quaffle through the red goalpost. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal. They won't always be undefended. Let's see if you can slip one past a keeper. That about does it for the chasers. Are you feeling ready for a warm-up match? <laughs>